parked in Hook 316. It is a pretty uh, dead day at the Ticket Transportation Center parking lot. Nothing, nothing too crazy yet. Let's go see if we can see some adventure. They really are doing a lot of work here. It's interesting seeing all this because the uh, the tarps have to come down for the hurricane that's coming in a couple days. Uh, so you kind of get this this crazy like in-depth look at, at Disney construction. But they're they're really doing a lot of work over here. A lot a lot of ground has been turned over on both sides. Wow. It is a dead day at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, so that was a lot of construction updates going on at the front. I don't know how good this audio is going to turn out. Just with me. But we'll, we'll keep on progressing forward. Um, a lot of pathway work in the new tram area. Oh, I can't wait to see it all finished. But for now, it is a hot mess express out there. Uh, hopefully the construction and some of the updates inside the park are a little bit cleaner looking. Um, but we'll go find out. So there are some ominous looking clouds coming up, but nothing too crazy right now. Um, it's just a very warm, kind of a little bit on the windy side day at Magic Kingdom, but nothing nothing too crazy. Um, this is the Sunday before Hurricane Dorian. Uh, with that being said, um, a lot of people view this as a great time to go to Disney. Um, and it is, you know, Disney is an extremely safe place and they have their own uh, power systems and all their conduits underground. Uh, so, there's a, a minimized risk of impact in coming here, um, but for a lot of Florida, um, evacuation warnings and stuff are going to be again being issued probably really soon, um, as it was just increased to a Category 5 hurricane. So with that being said, if you are in any of those affected areas, please heed the advice and, and please leave. Um, you know, don't try and wait it out if the suggestion is you shouldn't. You end up just taking up a lot of, uh, I don't know, just. EMS manpower that could greatly go towards literally anything else. It's been years since I've vlogged inside the Magic Kingdom, but there are a lot of changes over here. Um, for starters, all of Speedway and pretty much all of Tomorrowland got a fresh coat of paint in anticipation for Tron Light Cycle Run. We'll be going right over there. You can see it kind of in the background over there in a massive amount of dirt. So they're, they're really trucking ahead on this. Uh, also worth noting is Space Mountain is a 15 minute wait right now. That's 1515. That's nuts. I am curious if any of the old ornamentation from like the 90s Tomorrowland refurb is going to be sticking around. Or, you know, what exactly is being removed. Because it looks like in its current iteration that all of this stuff is staying. It's just been painted over. So, we'll see I guess. You have the expanded outdoor seating area over there. And then the uh, freshly repainted Tomorrowland. Well, freshly as of a couple months ago repainted Tomorrowland Speedway area. I think this was the last area to be um, to be repainted for Tomorrowland. I haven't seen much else going on since then. Uh, it is worth noting up top, all the flags have been rolled and, uh, and zip tied off. That's in preparation for the uh, This is a strange view. All of the banners have been rolled up and, and uh, zip tied up. Uh, yet again, in preparation for the hurricane. So it's, it's pretty weird being able to walk through here and it being so open like that. This is probably the best view of Tron that you can get inside the park. It is a big coaster. It's pretty short though. I believe it's only around 80 or so seconds. Um, but that's not too, too short for a launch coaster. I think Rock and Roller Coaster is probably about 95. Uh, but don't quote me on that. Uh, they did have a couple show props set up. Uh, but they have since taken those down yet again because of the incoming storm. But it's really, it's really moving along. You see up there is where it enters inside the building. Uh, it starts out, well, it starts inside the loading area, then launches outside uh, through a giant overhang canopy, and then back inside, and that's where it enters inside again. So yeah, that's Tron, and then there's Space Mountain for comparison. Oh, this is gonna be so cool when this is open. So this walkway on the side of the castle um, was just expanded and opened, presumably, hopefully, not finished, but um, the physical walkway itself is open, and it is graciously needed. Significantly larger. This could probably fit. I don't know, five, six people across, which is outstanding for that post-firework and parade crowd. 
I don't really know what they're planning here, but whatever it is, I'm a fan and I look forward to it. This is over in Liberty Square. I'm assuming it's going to be some sort of covered seating area or something. I don't know. That clip, and it didn't really make a lot of sense. There wasn't a lot of context to it. So there's Haunted Mansion, there's Harbor House, and then right over here, over by the mobile market thing, is where this construction is. So there you go. There's your context. Our fantasy land flags have been tied up yet, but I don't expect that to happen for a little bit later. It's got really loud. I think that's small. Like a giant echo chamber in there. But yeah, it's, it's starting to look a little bit more ominous now. I may be heading out soon. So you definitely can't see it, but it's actually uh, slowly starting to rain more and more aggressively. So, I wouldn't surprise if some of the outdoor attractions are closing soon. Uh, but here's a much closer and, and uh, stronger view of Tron. We're going to go right past it. You can actually, uh, you can see the footers for the outside portion going in. Oh wow, very cool. I realized I just kind of ended that video pretty abruptly. Uh, shortly after People Mover, it started raining, so I ended up leaving. Um, I'll probably do more of those construction update type videos soon. Um, probably Epcot. I'll try to get there like tomorrow or so, um, just to try and get a little bit more of just the current state of the parks and, and prepping for the storm. And then just with all the changes going on, I've got to be pretty cool to, to get some updates over there. So stay tuned, I guess. Alrighty, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like, because I guess I'm back. See ya.